Hi guys, hope you are fine and doing well. So today we will be discussing this problem from the lead code which is sort integers by the power value. So this is the 17th problem of the dynamic programming series. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, you can consider watching them since it will be really helpful for you to understand the concepts in the upcoming videos. And if you are new to this channel, you can consider subscribing it and pressing the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the upcoming updates. So let's get started with this problem. So the question tries to say that for a given integer x, the power of an integer is defined as the total number of steps that are required to transform that x into 1. And how can we do that? We are given two operations, which are in case this x is even, then we can reduce this x to x divided by 2. And in case this x is odd, then we can increase this x to 3 times of x plus 1. So the next part of the question is that we are given three integers, low, high, and an integer k. So what we are required to do is, in the range low to high, for each element, we are required to find out this power of an integer for each element. And then we need to sort these all elements this in the ascending order and on what basis are we required to like sort them they should be sorted on the basis of their values of the power of an integer so like in this case for example the power of 13 is 9 and the power of 14 is 17 so basically we will be sorting them on the basis of 9 and 17 and next thing that we are required to do is we have to output the kth integer in the range low to high and obviously which is the sorted one. So now let's have a look at some integers and try to transform them to one and find their powers. So firstly let's take this integer 3 and because we are given these two operations in case it is even when we can make it to x by 2 and in case it's odd we can make it to 3x plus 1. So since it is odd it will become 10 and this 10 is even so this 10 will become 5. So this 5 is odd so it will become 16 and 16 is even so it will become 8 then to 4 2 and 1. So the total number of operations that took place are 8. So hence 8 is the power of transforming this 3 to 1. So now let's take a case where we'll be transforming 12 into 1. So since this is even, it will go to 6 and the 6 is also even, it will go to 3. And now for the 3, we just did all these steps which are 8 so the total power to transform 12 to 1 is basically 2 plus 8 these two plus and next 8 for this 3 so it total comes out to be 10 so from the above two examples it is quite evident that why we shall be using the dynamic programming approach in this question because the dynamic programming itself says that we are not required to calculate the same thing again and again once it is already pre-calculated with us. So in this case, like when we reach this 3, so we already had the answer for this 3, which is this 8. So there is no need to calculate it again and again since it will just increase the time complexity only. So that is the reason we will be using dynamic programming in this question. So before moving to the DP approach, let's see how can we approach to this question in a brute force manner. So for the brute force approach, firstly, what we will do is, let me just clear this out. Yes, firstly, we will run a for loop from i equal to low and this i will be less than equal to high and i plus plus so we will run this for loop 
and in this for loop what we will do is let value be mm, int value let it be v is equal to i now we will run a while loop while this v is not equal to 1 so what we will do is we will simply if even if this v is even we will make this v is equal to v by 2 else it is odd so we will make this v as 3 times of v plus 1 so and we will also keep a count variable let it be c is equal to 0 and we will simply increment c plus plus every time and we will just store the answer we will also create a list of it will it, it will be of pair type so and we will initialize it so the pair class will have uh, something like uh, one will be the value which will be the index value and the other thing will be the power and we'll apply like comparable and all things to this pair class and we will sort this list on the basis of this power value and that to in ascending order in ascending order yes so we will simply add this as new pair as the value this v uh, we will keep it in like i not v here because v will become to 1 so we will just input i value and c c is the power and after this for loop what we will do is we will simply uh, i am continuing it here so we will sort this list so after sorting this list since we are required to find out the kth smallest in basically kth smallest value which has like the k smallest power so we will simply output list dot get k and obviously k minus one because it is zero based indexing so this is how we will be doing this brute force approach and the simple improvisation to it will be uh, in the dynamic programming approach will be like we will every time try to store this value of v like all the answers for particular v if it is like 12 then what will be its answer if it is 3 what will be its answer if it is 6 what shall be its answer so every time we will be storing them and checking in this step that whether is is this value already calculated in case it is calculated we will just return this value from here so we do not need to continue these steps these sort of steps so firstly let's code this brute force approach and then we will move on to the dp1 so firstly let's run a for loop from int i is equal to low to i less than equal to high and this i plus plus and here we will create a value a variable value is equal to i and while this value is greater than zero sorry greater than one yes so what we will do is if this value is even then we have to do something and in the other case we have to do something else so for the even case 
we will make this value equal to value divided by 2 and in the other case it's odd we will make this to value star 3 plus 1 and we will also create a count variable so that it counts the total number of steps required to convert this value to 1 and we will simply increment this count and then we will create an array list of type pair so so that we can store all the values in this array list and we have not created the pair class so let's create pair class and implements comparable of type pair yes and then we'll create two well uh, two variables which is one value which will contain the value like i uh, and then we will create the power variable and we will simply initialize it in the constructor and value and power and this dot power is equal to power and this dot value is equal to val and the other thing that we will do is since we have done implements so there will be a method compare to and it will be of type pair and in case and in the case like the values uh, sorry the powers are same then how we will sort them we will sort them on the basis of their values so in case o dot power is equal to this dot power then we will return this dot val minus o dot val and in the other case we will simply return this dot power minus o dot power so we have created this pair class and we have created this array list so now after we have got the total count or the total power to convert this value to 1 now what we will do is we will simply add we will create a new new pair and first element is the value which is basically the current i and the count so why we have not just put variable val here because it will be converted to 1 so that is the reason so after we have done that we will simply come out of this for loop and we will so we will cti minus collections dot sort this list and we will sort this list and then we will simply return list dot get we have to return the kth smallest so this dot at k minus one because it is zero based indexing and what we have to return is the value so let's see if our code works so yes it is working correctly so now let's try to submit it it is getting accepted now let's see like what step we do we need to do so that we can involve dynamic programming also in this question so because in case i showed you that in case this value is like 12 3 or 6 then we will just go to 12 then 6 and then 3 and in case of 6 we will go from 6 to 3 and so on from 3 onwards add in case it is 3 so this part is being calculated again and again so we don't need that so what we will do is we'll simply create a hash map of type integer and integer so we'll call it dp new 
hash map yes so what we will do is we will simply just put dp dot put value i and count here and the other thing that we'll do is in this while loop because for every value it will keep on iterating so we just need to give a check here that in case this value is present in this dp map then we can simply return the value which is so we will not return exactly but yes we will create count is equal to count plus dp dot get val and we will break out of this loop because it will return then this function will just return simply this value so yes let's see if this works So it's working so let's try to submit it so this is getting accepted so i hope you understood solution in this video and if you appreciate my work you can consider subscribing to my channel and giving thumbs up to this video and in case of any doubts you can comment down below i'll be more than happy to answer them so let's meet in the next video till then bye bye